Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Wales. Um, yeah, I've come to photograph Lighthouse this morning. Um, the name of the place, I, 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 I don't know how to correctly pronounce it, so I, I'm not going to even try, but I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, so today is Bank Holiday Monday, Easter. Um, yeah, I've driven from where we're staying for the week um, to photograph the lighthouse. I have absolutely no idea where it is in relation to where I am now. So I'm gonna seek it out and I'll talk to you when I find it. Okay, I'll talk to you in a bit. Thanks guys, talk to you in a minute. So I'm here, but unfortunately I got here just a little bit too late. I'm at um, the lighthouse. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the, the, the name of the place. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll write it down, the name of the lighthouse and everything. Um, thankfully, thankfully, the, the, the sky was red, but it wasn't as red as I thought it was gonna be. We're getting a bit of the dawn clouds now, just behind the lighthouse. So hopefully the time-lapse which I'm running um, will show us um, you know, some good cloud movement, some good change of colour in the sky, etc, etc. Um, I'm taking photographs as well. Uh, I will add the time lapse probably at the end. Um, I, I don't know yet, we'll, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it whenever I show it. It's a lovely location. Okay, so the time lapse is with the Nikon Z6. Photographs are with... Yep, the Nikon Z7 II, which came back the other day, thankfully. Uh, there was a spot on the sensor, but thankfully it just needed cleaning, and Nikon did that for me for free. So thank you very much, Nikon. Um, yeah, I'll speak to you in a minute. So I don't know if the last section um, recorded, because I had the wrong setting on this. I've had the wrong setting on the Z6. Um, it wouldn't focus, but we got there in the end. Um, so yeah, welcome. Um, it is a sunrise this morning. I was about, I would say 10 minutes, only 10 minutes late, but 10 minutes is enough to, you know, destroy what you wanted to do, I suppose. But here's the lighthouse. The sunrise has happened. Um, it, the sun has been behind cloud the whole time, really. There has been some red cloud. I don't think I've caught any of it, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, it's a really, really nice location. It's about, I don't know, six o'clock in the morning. I can't tell. It's about six o'clock in the morning. Um, I wanted to get here for five. I got stuck in a little bit of traffic, believe it or not, or roadworks, um, which held me up by about 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, other than that, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, the aim of today is to go down the coastline um, and end up down at... Um, uh, Anglesey um, Lighthouse and um, that's the aim I don't know if I am going to be able to do that achieve that because there's you know there's so much to to photograph around here but that that is my aim I've got literally the day to myself where well, the family have gone out shopping um, and I am here um, and you know going to have some fun today with the camera um, yeah I mean look it, it, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I've got the whole beach to myself. I say that, just as I say that, there's a family just appeared just down there with a dog. Oh, and there's one person down there. So there's what, four people? Four people? Here, doesn't matter, does it? Um, it's low tide at the minute. Um, I've seen photographs of this place where the lighthouse is obviously submerged, um, you know, up to the, the black line um, on the lighthouse itself. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch that, I don't think. I don't know what time high tide is. Um, I've taken some photographs already. I've gone, gone round. Oh, sorry, I'm not, I've not got my stick. My stick's over there. And there. Uh, I was a bit... Oof. Anyway. Um, um, hold on. Oh, let me show you. So, I love this line. This, this leading line here, this water. And it's like an S bend, so it goes around, but it go, does eventually go away back to the sea. But it sort of leads you to the lighthouse, and I've captured that. Um, I've not done long exposure or anything. I'm using the tripod to do long expo uh, to do uh, time lapse. I have got two two um, tripods with me. I just don't have the the uh, yes, I do the Allen key 
to take off the uh, L bracket. I've got this now on, a, on an L bracket and I can't, I've only just discovered, I can't bring the screen out so I can see it. So I'm gonna have to revert back. So that was a waste of money. Anyway, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll get some really, really nice, really good photographs. Hopefully the time lapse will work out. Um, yeah, beautiful morning. Okay, I'll talk to you again in a bit, guys. Thank you. Oh, um, the name of the place is Talaka. So we're at Talaka Beach. Um, and this is Talaka Lighthouse, obviously. There's a chap over here flying a drone. Um, he, um, well, he A, told me the name, and B, he's offered me some of his photographs from his drone, which should look fantastic. I've seen a couple of them that he's taken already. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. So if he does send me them, I'll, I'll share those as well, and I'll tag you um, his name, his Instagram details, all that, if, if he supplies all that. Um, but yeah, this has been a really nice location. I'm sorry I haven't vlogged much. Um, I got here a bit, little bit late. I did do a um, HAPS broadcast. I've done two time lapses. Um, I moved the camera so it was further to the left um, with a stream, so it's like a leading line on this one. Um, the first one was merely to catch the sunrise, which, which wasn't as grand as I had hoped it would be. But all the same, it should be a pretty good time lapse. So yeah, I'll put the two together um, and I'll share those. I've got some pretty good photographs. I'll share those as well. And hopefully if this gentleman does give me some of his drone photographs, I'll um, add a couple of those as well. So, all right, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna pack up, we're gonna move to another location. Um, I'm gonna change this goddamn um, L bracket that I've got on here and uh, switch back to what I had because I think it's better for, for vlogging, okay. All right, so from Talhaga Lighthouse or whatever it was called again, see you in a bit. Okay, so we're leaving. Um, I just wanted to add, the guy with the drone's called Neil. Um, I don't know the rest of his details yet. I have given him my email address so he can uh, forward me some of his drone photographs. Yeah, they'd be a fantastic addition. Obviously, they're not mine. Um, I will put his Instagram account details um, with the, with the um, drone photographs. Um, yeah, so pop along and have a look. Okay, so I'm trying to find where I've parked my car because I obviously, I mean, I honestly have absolutely no clue. Um, and uh, I'm gonna find somewhere else to go. Okay, so from this lovely lighthouse, I wish you all a good day. I'll um, see you, well, I'll see you in about 10 seconds. All right, see you in a minute. So I'm, um, uh, walking back to the car. Um, I swear to you, I had no idea where I'm going and it's taken me probably 15, 20 minutes to get back to, to where I started this morning, which took me, I don't know, 10 minutes to get to the beach and the lighthouse. So yeah, I honestly had no idea where I am. Um, I've been looking for this beach, oh, sorry, this footpath all the way in it it didn't start it doesn't start until, well till now um yeah but you know there's nothing there's nobody about i met that neil on the beach um there's a couple of cyclists i think i saw three people on the beach the whole time i was there and all i can hear is birds um i'm just surrounded by nature you know it's beautiful it is, you know, it's something you see when when we, as human beings, walk past anything, we, we, I say we, I don't personally, drop our crap all over the place, which infuriates me that people can't be bothered to take a, a tissue back with them to put in their waste bin. But, um, yeah, I mean, we, we spoil everything we can, don't we? But, um, yeah, this is beautiful. It's a lovely walk. Um, lovely fresh air down by the beach or more, you know from what was it five o'clock I set off four o'clock I got here about half five yeah about four o'clock I set off got here about half five just missed the the sunset 
which was a little bit disappointing. Um, but other than that, oh, heck, there's a crossroad. But other than that, <laughs> um, it was fab. I have no idea where to go. Anyway, yeah, I don't know if I came out this way or that way. Anyway, we're going to go. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so thank you very much. I'm going to make my way to Anglesey, but I want to probably stop off somewhere else. Um, so yeah, this is this is beautiful. I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Thanks. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. I found the car. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to look in my book, see where else I want to go. I want to find a Starbucks because I want a coffee. But, um, yeah. Okay, I found the car. We're going to move on. I'll speak to you in a bit. I was driving down to that lighthouse this morning and I, oh heck, and I um, saw a boat that's been stranded, it's stranded in the, in the water, run aground. Um, and I've just asked a lady how to get to it. And she's given me directions, hopefully. Um, and I'll um, take a picture of it. Yeah, it's a big old unit. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. So I've eventually got here. I don't know where I can take this photograph from, but um, you look at the front of the boat, um, it's called the Duke of Lancaster. So um, yeah, it'd be interesting to find out some facts about it later. I might, I might try and do that, but um, yeah, I've just got to try and find a decent vantage point where I can get a, a photograph. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I walked all the way down here with my backpack on, with my camera and my lenses, my tripod and whatever else. And I've used the Canon M50 to take the photographs because um, although it's huge and interesting, I just thought I could take the same photographs with this camera as I could with those in the back and uh, yeah, they, they, they look all right. It's not, unfortunately, you can't get down to this beach. This has to be the most empty beach I have ever seen. It stretches for miles and miles. Look at this. It stretches for miles and miles. And there's not a soul on it. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, so we've done that. Something else I wanted to do. So we'll move on. Um, I've taken, I think, four or five photographs. I'll have a look which are the best one, best ones, one or two, and I'll and I'll share those with you now. Okay. So um, I don't know where we're going. I'd like to find a Starbucks and have a coffee, but um, I don't think there's any around here. So a coffee shop would be good. Um, okay. See you in a minute. Hi. So I have driven about an hour, an hour and a half, and I've arrived in Anglesey. I've at Clamwyn Island, um, which is currently surrounded by high tide. So I'm gonna have to wait for low tide, um, which is gonna be between another hour and two hours. So I'm just gonna sit here admiring this gorgeous view. I can see the lighthouse from here, so I might try and get a photograph of it with the long lens. Um, but other than that, I'm just gonna wait. Snowdonia is afar. Um, which is covered by um, some high cloud. Um, but the problem I've got is there's no cloud cover above me and the sun is directly on it. Um, I, I believe I can't stay till um, sunset because high tide will be back in again. So um, I wouldn't be able to get off the island. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna hang around, wait till there's low tide, and then I'm gonna make my way um, onto the island and get some photographs. Okay, see you in a minute. So some of that's supposed to take 20 minutes has already taken me over an hour. But um, what views, what stunning views. Um, yeah, I'm just taking a few steps at a time and stopping and then doing a few more steps. I'll get there eventually. Okay. Oh, wow. It's just stunning. Okay. Hopefully that's on me. I can't really concentrate on both if I'm honest. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so there's, there's like an archway. Um, and the archway I've used to frame the lighthouse. I don't know, it's probably been done a thousand times before. Um, but um, I used the um, 24 to 70 lens and I didn't think it was close enough. So I've used the 70 to 200 and zoomed in. I can't remember what it was. I can't remember the settings either, but um, it looks like a pretty nice shot. Yeah, um, yeah, I got here at last. Right, okay, there's loads of people here now. I was one of the first to cross, but because it's taken me so long, yeah, oh well. Right, we'll um, move on and go. Well, I'm back home after a fantastic, I don't know, 10 days, I think it was, we were in Wales. Um, okay, so why am I doing it? from home okay um i went to on the first day i went to three locations i did the lighthouse which you would have already seen i did the boat which you would have already seen and now i'm doing um anglesey where i went to you know, photograph the uh, the island's um lighthouse um yeah i i did quite a lot of vlogging on that day but unfortunately I didn't know the microphone had died. Um, and um, although there's plenty of video with me, there is no talking um, and, and I really am sorry. Um, so I'm not gonna use it. I, I, all I'm gonna do is say I'm really sorry and uh, just explain to you what happened. So um, we, I got to the island, I keep saying we, it was only me. I, I got to the island <coughs> um, well, there's a huge car park um, and about a half hour walk um, from the car park to the island. Um, the, 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 you say half an hour, you can double it for me pretty much. But anyway, I got there and I had to wait on the bank because it was high tide. Um, and because I sat there waiting, I took a panorama of Snowdonia, which is about 15 photographs, I think. Um, which I think will look quite nice. Um, I took um, several photographs um, from around that location. Um, I don't know about those, but we'll see if they're any good, I'll share them. And then I obviously took a load of photographs um, of the lighthouse, the cross that is in front of the lighthouse, etc., etc., all around that part of the island. And I also did a time-lapse. Um, 
that I haven't looked at any of it at the minute. I was just putting the vlog together and um, I was horrified to find that there is no sound. So um, I just wanted to uh, apologize for that. Um, I want to share with you the photographs and the time lapse, if you'll allow that. Um, please let me know what you think. Um, this system to me, the Rode microphone system is new to me. Um, I, I didn't realize that <clears throat> um, it had such a short lifetime. I say short, it's seven hours, I believe. Um, but I left it on um, thinking that, you know, <laughs> it would last. Um, and it didn't. So I, I now know to switch it off between locations, um, which is pretty obvious when you think about it. But uh, but I didn't do that. Uh, like I said, I am currently editing um, this um, this vlog, um, of which there is little vlogging. Um, and and I like I said, I can only apologise for that. I hope you like the photographs. I hope you enjoy the time lapses. Um, do please leave your <coughs> Do please leave your um, thoughts on everything. Um, Neil Bosson, I think it is, um, did send me two photographs. He sent me one from the drone um, of the lighthouse and one of the boat. I will share both of those photographs. And underneath where the comment section is, I will put a link to his um, um, uh, YouTube account. Um, he did do a video. Um, of what he filmed from the drone, which is quite good. Um, so do pop along and visit Neil um, and, and you know say hello. Um, yeah, okay, thank you ever so much. I'm gonna get back on with this as much as I can. It shouldn't take me too long. Um, and I'm gonna post it tonight, hopefully. Um, and I look forward to your feedback. Please be kind to me. Um, you know, it's, it's a learning curve. Uh, thank you very much, guys. See you soon. Thank you.